Oh, man, this place. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. <laughs> yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, this better be fucking good! Oh. 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 Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. All right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it. Make it a fast boat. Uh, Logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes our work. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert, here's my train. Stop that train! I've got a ticket! Hold up! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if... What you turned into. Oh. Don't leave without me! Far out! 
Help you under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Keep you. Now the parachute regiment turns up. Baby on board, we're good to go. Finally, come on. Get in! Let's go! In the boat! Come on! Down river! Vamanos! Make for senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. 
have been since we put you in the ground. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Is in hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. Right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? A couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again, with Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. Right. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day inch of the way, all right? right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business, uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? <laughs> we told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, mister. 
Leisure wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, it's been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes. Where you think it does? The intel is good. We're a hundred yards out. 
Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Let's go, let's go! Hands up, let's see them. Drop their piece. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. <laughs> Out! Ah! Grab the card. Next floor. Come on! How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. Clear. Let's go. Two lab geeks. Got to deal with them. Put them up! Ah. They're down. Let's go. Along here and to the left. Come on! Push through! Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. judgment call I dare you just a little pinprick what can a pinprick do ask the monkey go on a tiny amount on your hand they've gone we've got some time use the card on that swiper Access. lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce come on gore now I'm not coming out! The locking mechanism is triggered from the inside. Wait! Someone's coming! I'm on it! You! Hands up! The nerd went down! You want us to take out this door and you along with it? The special agents have the door. Go in there and... This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Damn it. We need to get the nerve agent into a refrigeration unit. Warning. Facility has been breached. Facility has been breached. Use a real gun. It's on Security now. team. Push for the exit. Corridor goes around to 
scene. Reinforcements should be arriving. Wouldn't be surprised if they had the whole county on lockdown. chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet, 
Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Save my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. Please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No, no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. 
Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap. <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friends. Whoa, hey, my name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob. You people are not very fucking nice. Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, Wade, you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accident. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me. All right. Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and. And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was... You're a fool. You're a blind fucking fool. The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. Look, this is it. So this is where Floyd is going to meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here! Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. <laughs> 